Hello there. I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, today we're going to be talking about Mog and Spotify. If you like music, then stay tuned and you might want to write some notes and download these things because this is for the ones for the music fans. Um, if you like iTunes, stay tuned. If you like Lil Wayne, stay tuned too. If you like anybody, just stay tuned. Um, I was a, I wasn't approached, but I got a, me and my friend were talking and he mentioned something about Mog and how he wanted to know which one was better, Spotify or Mog, because he was looking into, uh, Spotify, but he couldn't find it in his, uh, BMW apps program or whatever. So what he did find was Mog and that's similar to it. And he turned me on to Mog, so I decided to try it for two weeks, and I told him I'll try it, and then I'll just let him know which one's better. But um, I was trying it, and I really was trying it, but I couldn't really figure out which one was better because they're both the same thing. I mean, they are both have tons of music. They both play music. They both stream music. They both have a net mobile app. They both charge when you want to access... When you want to access... Um, on a mobile device or whatnot, or unlimited play, they both charge. So I use I was already using Spotify for I think three weeks, and then I moved on to Mog, and I've been using that for the past two weeks. So I got a pretty good idea of both. Um, my verdict is Spotify, and one of the biggest reasons is um, streaming. Spotify does streaming like if the music was on your hard drive, you just click 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 and it just starts playing mog on the other hand you click something and you have to wait like three seconds i know it's not a lot but in these days high speed internet up the ass and shit i mean fuck three seconds is a long time in internet language and nerd language and i'm very familiar with nerd language but um so yeah that's one of the biggest turn off on mog is the actual wait time in between tracks um the upside to mog though is it's music library it's huge and they also do playback really well when you click on an artist you can actually and let me show you guys what it looks like here is mog you can see he has a little a full empty bar and that tells you how much music you have left and i assume when you get a subscription that goes away and you can see right here new releases, top artists and stuff, and you can go go ahead and click on it. Once you click on an artist, it'll bring up um, all of their music, and, and then it has a little slider that appears, which you can which you can maneuver. If you slide it to the left, you get um, more of that same artist. If you slide it all the way to the right, I think you get um, similar artists. So. Let's say you're having a party and you like Kanye West, put it on Kanye, slide it to the right, and it'll give you a lot of the same artists and with Kanye sprinkled in there every once in a while. Spotify doesn't have that. It has a radio thing. And that thing sucks. I mean, it plays off the same album, the same artists and stuff. I don't know if it's because I do that a lot, but I'm pretty sure it's just that they haven't really developed that part of that app yet, so... So yeah, but the the key thing in in this whole thing is that the streaming, because that's pretty much what it's going to be. If you can't stream, then th you suck, you know, because that's the whole point of it. That's the reason I don't have it on my hard drive. I don't have this 11 million uh, track book in my hard drive is because I want it streamed to me, and I want it streamed fast. So Spotify gives me that satisfaction of getting a stream to my to my computer and to my phone since I have that $10 subscription I get it streamed to my phone so I just use my phone as my iPod and we're set the only thing I have to worry about on Spotify is creating good playlists but I mean it has a starring system and everything so it kind of just does it for you uh, Mog on the other hand I does have playlists and everything similar but again just that 3 seconds kills it you might want to look at it why? No, I don't have it. Right. Anyways, like as far as Spotify and Mog go, if you're trying both of them free, I would have to recommend Mog out of the two. More 
less because <laughs> even though you have that delay between the upload of the song as it's streaming, whatever, uh, you don't get any advertisements in between songs. Your music play doesn't pause. It just you can run it background while you're gaming, while you're whatever you're doing. Um, whereas Spotify, if you don't have an an account with them, uh, you get advertisements after almost every song. Uh, that's pretty much the only con that. I think has. AJ has a rebuttal to that. Yeah. I think AJ is gay, but. We're just going to go with that. You don't have ads after every song, but that's all. Um, for Mog's Spotify, I like Spotify because I'm lazy and it's Pandora-esque and I can just set it and go. Mog, if you don't load as fast as YouTube, you, you're kind of slacking in my books. Um, and I'm on that scrub life, so yeah, I don't pay for either of them. Downside con for me for Spotify is I have to download a program to my computer. I don't like having <laughs> shit on my computer. I'd rather have it streamed. So still on that Pandora. Regardless, Mog Spotify. Spotify takes my in my in the Mog Spotify. Regardless, both of them. Groove Shark. Not many people have heard of it that I know of. Check it out. It's different. It's it won't necessarily have like a Mog or Spotify where you can just keep playing songs, but I like it for what it does. Mog though, shout out to Mog for that slider. That slider, because if you're feeling just that artist, you're on there. If you want to get your Pandora on and see what other artists sound like them, you're there too. Um, social experiment. So, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, if you like music and you want to listen to free music, well, not free if you get the subscription, but let's say you have a BMW and they have Mog, get Mog. I mean, it's the same thing. It just looks different, you know? One has a tattoo and one doesn't. Or one's the Gatorade and one's not. So let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think about the program? I'm trying to make this quick because I don't want to uh, make these 10-minute videos, but let me know what you guys think. What do you guys use? What do you guys recommend? Uh, what sucks? If I suck, what do you guys want to see next? Uh, just give me some ideas. Also, I'm getting a new camera, the T3i. Should be getting it in about a month, so I'll be messing with that. I'm getting a higher quality video, and I'm also setting up a little studio type thing, so I have a more permanent spot to vlog from ex something that's not my room. You know, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.